let us now check the design guidelines for circular bunker so uh, initially we should require some data preliminary data so first one we need to have the weight of the material to be stored in the bunker second one is the density of the material angle of repose grade of the materials we are using that are steel and concrete first step is about the dimensions of the bunker so first we have to see the volume of the bunker according to given weight and density w is the weight of the material the gamma is the unit weight of the material w by gamma gives the volume of the bunker so later we have to assume the dimensions of the bunker initially according to the volume we got we assume the dimensions accordingly those are see your bunker diameter this is this is the bunker diameter height of the cylindrical part this depth of the hopper bottom this diameter of the hopper this so after after seeing this later we have to cross it capacity of the bunker after getting the initial dimensions we have to check actually the total volume with the volume we have calculated that is volume of surcharge if we use this formula we will get it one third of pi d square by 4 into hs hs is the height of the surcharge here so we will get the volume in this portion volume of the cylindrical portion pi d square by 4 into height of the cylindrical portion it is simply the formula for height of the i mean volume of the cylinder so we will get the volume in this portion next one is about volume of the frustum of the cone at the bottom if we use this formula we will get this pi by h a suffix h by 12 into capital d square plus capital d into small d plus small d square so we will get the volume in this portion so we got now the entire volume in all these portions the total bunker so you we have to cross check the vol this volume with the volume uh, we have calculated initially so if uh, if the calculated volume here is greater than or equal to the volume calculated here then it is okay we can pro proceed for design otherwise we have to change the dimensions third step is about the design of the cylindrical walls first one is about horizontal pressure this is a formula to calculate that the, the cylindrical walls are generally subjected to horizontal pressure only because vertical pressure will be entirely transferred to uh, completely transferred to the hopper bottom like this i will tell you la that later see here volume of the uh, sorry design of uh, horizontal pressure formula is small p is gamma hc into cos square theta here gamma is the unit weight of the material stored hc is the height of the cylindrical portion cos square theta theta is a I mean, uh, hopper bottom angle. This is, um, we may call it as this. This is a theta. Hoop tension. Hoop tension in the cylindrical wall per meter height. Fh is equal to 0.5 Pd. So, if we use this formula, we will get this. Find the ultimate hoop tension. Fh is equal to 1.5 Fh that is a uh, if we multiply uh, the hoop tension we got with the factor of safety 0.5 we will get the ultimate hoop tension third one re reinforcement so ast is a uh, ultimate hoop tension divided by 0.87 fy so now we have to check the, this ast with the minimum reinforcement we have to provide that is 0.12 percent of the cross-sectional area cross-sectional area here is thickness multiplied by the width here b we are taking it as one meter thickness of the wall we are assuming it uh, from 100 to 200 mm that is about this reinforcement is vertical and horizontal so after getting this if we get uh, uh, so if we get the reinforcement more than the minimum reinforcement that's okay if not we have to provide the minimum reinforcement and that reinforcement should be here vertically and circular rings also the same circular ring uh, circular and longitudinal next step is about design of hopper bottom so as these are subjected to only horizontal pressure so hopper bottom bears the entire load the total weight will be upon the sloping sides of the hopper bottom so if you observe the entire load is acting downwards that will be mainly on the sloping sides and this hopper bottom 
we have to design carefully that part so let us see assume the thickness of the sloping slab so we have to assume the thickness of the sloping slab 100 to 250 that's okay uh, up to this this is okay later we have to improve the reinforcement instead of increasing the thickness second one weight of the coal if we multiply uh, the unit weight with the volume of the hopper as we have calculated earlier we'll get the weight of the coal next weight of the sloping bottom this is the formula to calculate pi into capital d plus small d by 2 plus ds into ds into gamma c see here ds is the depth of the sloping slide we can get it this is actually hh this is uh, this is actually the, the half of the diameter we can use the pythagoras theorem and we can find it out otherwise if you need you know the theta value or assumed value of theta generally it is assumed as 45 degrees if we do that we can find out easily the value of t suffix s sloping side by using sign values see here so all the parameters are known here gamma c into this formula is reorganized and rewritten here gamma c into d suffix s x uh, sorry d suffix s into pi into capital d plus small d by 2 plus d suffix s where ds is the depth of the sloping bottom as i said capital d is the diameter of the bunker small d is the diameter of the hub gamma c is here density of the concrete as we are talking about the self weight of the hopper bottom total load is given by the second weight of the coal plus self weight of the hopper bottom that is 2 plus 3 see here 2 plus 3 tension in the sloping uh, slab at the center this total weight causes tension in this sloping bottom so we have to find out the tension so that is the formula for, for tension is this w by pi into the mean diameter that is capital D plus small d by 2 into cosecant beta at this portion we are talking about the central portion as it is more at the center we are talking about the center w is the total load here in this formula w is the total load ultimate tension is obtained by multiplying the tension value with the factor of safety 1.5 next we have to after getting the tension ultimate tension we have to find out the reinforcement for the uh, reinforcement that is ast t uh, suffix u that is ultimate tension by 0.87 fy this reinforcement to be provided in the direction of sloping slab in this manner we have to provide uh, in the sloping side direction next is design of hoop reinforcement this is about rings small rings uh, small rings to capital rings in the hopper bottom see here first one we have to see the normal component of the coil pressure at the center of sloping side this is the formula for that we know all the parameters here gamma is the unit weight of the material h is the h here h c plus h h by 2 plus h h by 2 so as we are talking about the total weight the total weight uh, we have to consider the height or uh, the mean height of the structure that is this hc plus hh by 2 hs by 2 hs uh, hc is the cylindrical portion hh is the hopper bottom hs is the such theta is the angle of hopper bottom phi is the angle of repose here normal component due to the weight of the sloping side this is wd cos theta wd is uh, actually the formula is this gamma c into t into 1 this is the weight of the sloping side so if uh, we, in order to calculate the total normal pressure we have to calculate uh, we have to add this to first one normal component co uh, of the coal pressure at the center of the sloping side here normal component uh, due to weight of the sloping side if we add both we will get the total normal pressure that is pn plus wd cos theta hoop tension is given by this formula again if ht is half into p into dm dm is the mean diameter that is capital d plus small d by 2 so after getting uh, this ultimate hoop tension we have to find out again we have to multiply with the factor of safety 1.5 later we have to find out the area of the hoop reinforcement again so simple the process is f h u by 0.87 we have to provide the reinforcement in horizontal direction we can say distribution reinforcement we have uh, we have to check with the minimum reinforcement that is 0.12 percent of the cross sectional area that is that's all we, we shall see the problem in the next video